So Fly, we provide software for companies. We help them save money and time on their travel bookings. We help them book the right travel at the right time. It's really born out of my own frustration of, you know, booking last minute and basically paying two to three X more for this event I already knew I had to go to, you know, two or three months in advance. So this is obviously a space where there's some huge players on the enterprise side. How do you, as a small startup, kind of convince uh, customers that you know you're a good solution for them. There's a lot of there's a lot of tools out there. We call them online booking tools, and they have this kind of pull versus push model. I think we've all been there, right? We've kind of pulled tools. We've kind of pecked about looking for that flight, looking for that hotel, opening up a ton of windows, a million tabs, just to sort of get from point A to point B. And what we notice is that people end up procrastinating, you know, just like maybe this event. And what happens when you procrastinate? All the booking supply vendors out there know it, so they end up charging you now one and a half x, two x, three x on that on that on that uh, hotel or that flight. Gotcha. So your goal is really as soon as kind of the higher ups know who's going on a trip that they're able to kind of book, and it, the onus isn't on them. Yes, the higher ups, but also before the higher ups, okay. because we're tapped into corporate data systems like CRMs, uh, uh, G Suite, uh, corporate calendar systems, shared travel calendars. So. Our intention is to actually know about those events ahead of time okay. before people manually kind of get, get whiff about them and just ambiently ping the end users, the corporate booker, I'm sorry, the, the bookers and the travelers to go on that trip and just one click book front to back. So um, is there, you know, obviously a big total addressable market here. Who do you focus on first and how do you kind of build those relationships? We're focusing on uh, we're focusing on businesses, small, medium-sized businesses, and also we're starting to pick up some large companies as well. It's a 1.4 trillion dollar industry, uh, dominated by some incumbents, based off of the whole model that I was talking about. So, we're starting to get entrance by basically anybody who dislikes the existing booking tools. I think we all heard people hate using Concur. Cool. I think that's probably unanimous, pretty much nine out of ten times or more when we talk to potential customers. So what's what's next for you guys? Is it, you know, doubling down on sales, trying to get more customers? Do you have any big feature rollouts that you're working on? What's what's coming up? Yeah, we're we're here at, at TechCrunch, uh, trying to basically pick up as many client clients as possible. We're seeing resounding, you know, reception to our tools, and uh, you know, there's very little there's very little risk to get started with us. So you know, we're happy about taking a slow but steady private beta release, and eventually back later in Q4 you'll see us having our general release to the public. Awesome. Hey, well, Fred, thanks for joining me on stage. Best of luck. Thanks.